Shout out to all the people that are around me, because I'm sorry there's too many people that I can't really say all of your names. Anyways, what's up dudes and dudes in the internet? My name's Seth and the intense guy on the internet that's playing troll, 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 troll. Who cares? Seriously, we've been doing that for so many episodes. Why? Why did I start doing that? <laughs> Hi, how y'all doing? Hope you're doing fantastically wonderful. Hope this video makes that day of yours even better, everybody. Today we are playing on Reaper. Die, die, die. We will try and do that a little bit later, but I don't think it's going to particularly work out. Uh, let's just go to normal old U6. Oh. Ah, you're getting a message from Future Scythe. Today we're going to be giving away the blue manta ray and the green manta ray to two individual lucky people. So if you want to win either of them, you're going to have to duke in the like button, be subscribed to the channel, leave a comment in the comments down below with your username. Ah, you're falling asleep now and watching the rest of the video. The world loaded faster than I thought. This was the most evil mount that I could ever think of. Kill me. No, you're a carpet. Because it's a manta ray and it's like a shadow version of one. Ooh, give me free flowers. Free flowers for life. <laughs> oh, I could eat them every day. I like the pink ones the best because the pink ones taste like strawberries in my brain anyways, but not really. They actually taste terrible. <gasps> Woo! The best part about the gunslinger is the fact that you don't really need that much jump on him. Ha-ha! I will destroy you with my... Oh my goodness, this guy's stronger than he should be. Get out of town, dude! Rocket jump! Jeez Louise! We need to be able to teleport like Reaper so that we could get out of danger. JK, he doesn't actually teleport out of danger. I know! <gasps> Woo! So what we're gonna do too, <laughs> I gotta show you all this jump ability because it's actually very, very cool. I forget if I showed it in another video. I probably did and I'm probably just totally repeating myself but yeah, so hopefully you haven't seen it, and if you didn't, then just, if you already did see it, then bear with me. So, yeah, the gem ability for the Gunslinger actually makes it so that his ultimate, uh, you don't get the speed boost of his shots or the speed boost of uh, just moving around and everything like that. However, you know how damaging your charge shots are as this guy? Yeah, his ultimate ends up changing every single attack into a charge shot, which I don't know if I want to necessarily waste on these kill 30 enemies, but I guess we will anyways. Now, <laughs> the, I like to call it the, do, just do it, die, 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 die. I don't care if it's disorienting. Look how difficult it is to see through these VFX though. That's one thing I would desperately complain and beseech the devs to change, is the VFX on the ultimate when you have the class gem ability, is insane. Like, it's so blinding. Especially if you're in Ultra Shadow Towers and stuff like that. It just gets you in your way, and it's insane. It's so difficult to see anything. But, Saithi Poo has a fix that Joe taught me, and somebody else taught him in the Shadow Towers before him. Uh, you can always type slash FX, enable, one word, space, zero and it'll turn off all the video effects in the game which makes it so easy to see you just replace the zero with a one to turn it back on if you're wondering but seriously it is so helpful and i would highly recommend everybody to do it if you're in the shadow towers outside of not being able to see a boss's ability it really just is like better overall it just makes things so much easier to see uh and just in general like look at this fx enable zero look at this this game's a joke without vfx <laughs> but at least i can see what's going on although i can't see any of the uh, drops on the ground which is just gonna be a shadow one anyway right yeah <sighs> Yeah, so that's, that's cool. I like it. Who's got the air dragon? How dare it ye have an air dragon? I've opened, by the way, I just want to say, because I haven't opened any of them on camera, I've opened over a hundred empowered gem boxes. No, no, no dragon egg for Scythe Poo. None at all. I can get them on the PTS only because of the devs helping me out. I can't get them on the live server to save my life. Like seriously, die. Die, die. Oh, it's just as disorienting as an Overwatch, except in Overwatch, you don't have to spin around like a fool. He just does it automatically. Oh my goodness, it's blinding. 
I can't say anything! Yes. Dungeon complete! Let's get to the comments. Okay, took me a little while to actually organize these. Could you make a video showing how you create costume mods? Yes, I plan to. It's gonna take me a while. I know it's a long time coming, everybody, but modding in itself is actually very overly complicated. Like, if you don't know a thing or two about computers, it's just basic stuff, but you do have to know about computers because there's actually, uh, the files in the game start out as blueprints and you have to convert those into a file type that a voxel editor software can actually view. And then, once you're actually creating a character, you create each moving individual limb one at a time. So you're gonna be looking at just the hand and you're just gonna have to use your imagination to look at what it's gonna actually look like with the full character. Then of course you have to get it to work in game and just, Either way, it's a process. So it's been a long time coming that I've made a video on it because it can be very overly complicated. How do you get mods into the game? Now, this, I'm sure this question came up because lots of people don't actually know because the game doesn't really advertise it very well. Uh, Almost every mount, ally, uh, and every weapon, and almost everything, like 90% of the content in the game, including dungeons, was actually created by other people first, then they posted onto the Trove Reddit, which I don't use at all. And then uh, the Trove Reddit like mods have to randomly grab one of the topics that the devs then will see and then they decide whether or not it actually gets into the game. And if you actually get something into the game, you get a bunch of perks and uh, some credits and stuff like that. Are you saving your cubits for anything specific? Nope, not really. I've got 150k and I already used quite a few of them just on gem booster boxes, but overall I went really like, I think it's a good rule of thumb to save almost everything that you ever own in this game because you never know what's gonna come around the corner. Even Sithy saves all his cubits uh, outside of some gem booster boxes because you never know. Next week they might add some uh, new wings to the store and we wanna buy them right away. Then there is also what do you think they should do with the stability stat? What stability does, by the way, if you don't know is it prevents enemies from knocking you back when they hit you. I think they should just get rid of the stat. I think it's absolutely useless and doesn't really like you don't need it. Seriously, it really it's kind of nice because enemies knocking you around is very annoying. But I think they should just tone the knockdown that enemies give you down a bit and just remove stability in general. That's what I think anyway. But either way, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hook in the like button, share favorite and subscribe to join Team Pixel Side on. Stay epic, everybody. Believe